Hello everyone, today <clears throat> we're gonna make a video about this and this is something you will only find in Norway and if you come to Norway you will see it all over the place at work, at schools, public transportation, all over What is it? Well, this is a Norwegian delicacy, Norwegian food This is our lunch, it's called matpakke, food package and this is what we make it of. And today I will teach you how to make it, what kind of ingredients you need and how to eat it. And in the end of the program I will show you the three mo most popular ingredients or poor leg that we use in a matpakke. And when you're gonna make a matpakke, it's very easy, but you need the different stuff. You need this, we call it food paper. Let's say you need this. We have bread here and it has to be a bit dry. I mean we, we like uh, dry bread and we need some some uh, butter or something like that. Soft flour. And you do this uh, in the morning before you are going to work or before you are going to school so you're actually preparing your own lunch very early in the morning and what I'm doing now most Norwegians are doing let's say at six o'clock seven o'clock eight o'clock in the morning we are preparing our lunch package or our malt packet I think most foreigners find this uh, a very strange food tradition because as you will see, uh, okay, maybe I put a bit too much of this butter on. And maybe foreigners, the first mistake they do, they take a lot of salad, tomato, they put it on, they have maybe some fresh meat, fresh chicken. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, 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 no. This is very simple lunch. And that's a rule, strict rule. And then I will take this here. This is maybe one of our dearest, most precious ingredients. And we call it poor leg. I'm not sure if there's any English name for this. Uh, a leon or all this are all the stuff that you see here uh, are poor leg. It's like a layer. L layer on bread. It's a very unique Norwegian word in a way. It looks not too much. Boring. So, well, it should have, have this color. Our lunch has this color. And, and then you have to remember this. It's called between layer paper. It's the same kind of material as this. And you place it there. You see, this, this is very important. Without this, you have no mouth pocket. And then you place the other uh, slice of bread on it. And then we have another Norwegian speciality. It's called brown cheese, brun ost. And here you see a slice of it. And now you have to watch out. Because many of you, when if you're making one of these, you will think, oh, I need four or five of this. No, 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 you need one. And then you place your in-between layer paper on. And then you start wrapping it up. Like this. And you place it like this. And there you have it. A mat pakke, a Norwegian lunch. And this is what you're gonna eat after some hard hours at work. Then you can look forward to a lovely mat pakke. And maybe with some milk. Mm, or water, nothing else. But, but can can you do like a real high notch mud pocket? Is that allowed? Mm, well, I will try to make one high notch, one not Norwegian. If you are used to some more luxurious stuff at your lunch, you will probably mm, have lots and lots of butter on. And then uh, maybe I would have had uh, some uh, meat there. And let's say, oh la la. I would have cheese on top. I mean, it could be a good grill sandwich. You know that from your country, don't you? And some paprika. Mm, yeah, which we don't have. So, so let's say I put some 
liver pate on top here. So your intention is to make this good? Yeah, of course. I mean, and then you can, why not? And you can make a sandwich. Most other uh, countries make, look, you have a sandwich. But this is not a matpake. This is not a Norwegian lunch at all. This, a sandwich, it's a no, no, no. You have to take away at least one slice of cheese and you can't mix cheese with this so you have to choose do you want the meat slice here or do you want the uh, cheese slice and actually i i did a major mistake there was too much butter you can't have that because you, it's not supposed to taste anything it should be a disappointment when you open and eat it and you're not supposed to look forward to your lunch in Norway so now and I think I oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, you look 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 this is this is a criminal thing you cannot have too much then it's too much butter on so now there and I have to take away this and there it is you, you can't, you can't make a sandwich out of a matpake. You Why have, not? Why not? No, because then it's not a matpake. You have to have in between layers of paper and me, there... Me, melum legs papier. Melum legs papier. It's not a sandwich. So it's melum, a matpake. So melum legs papier is more important than what you put on the poor leg? Yeah, of course. If you don't have melum legs papier, you don't have a mud bucket. So I promised you in the beginning to reveal the three most popular uh, mud bucket ingredients in Norway. And on number three, here we have. Mm, yeah, we have some kind of fish. Stuff. Most likely it will be either this here or the other kind of fish uh, ingredient we have, caviar. So one of these would probably be on your um, matpake list. N number three. Number three, fish, fishy ingredients. And what's number two? Number two, mm -hmm. it's, it goes on, number two. Number two is some kind of meat dish uh, uh, ingredient. You can choose this, servelat, very common in Norway. You place it here. Or the most, probably most popular of them all, a liver pate. And then that's, that's also your meat variation. So that's number three. You saw that fish number three, meat number two. Okay, build and some suspension now for and, number one. And for number one is... Build suspension. Da, 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 da. What is the f most fav... Mo what is the... What is the Norwegian favorite ingredient in a matpake? And the answer is... Tasteless cheese. Like this, Norvegia. It's the most sold uh, cheese we have in Norway. And Is it, it like doesn't 17 percent or something? Yeah, and it doesn't taste anything. I mean, you could have paper actually. You could choose between tasteless white cheese or, well, more tasty but more sweet brown cheese. And for God's sake, never mix the two of them like I do now. That's not Norwegian. And then you have your uh, mat packa, lunch package uh, ready. We take our mat packa, we place it down here in our bag. And looking forward to lunch. Of course. No, 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 no. We are not looking forward to lunch. But we know that when we get hungry around lunch time, at least we have something to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so imagine that, let's say I'm at the university 
and I've <clears throat> it's like mm, 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 it's like 11 11 30 past half past 11 and you're just finished studying and you mm, I feel a bit hungry so I need lunch and what do I have here and now I'll show you how a perfect uh, uh, mock pocket and then oh your stomach is rumbling and you're so you want food and this is the kind of look at this shiny sweaty cheese and for us Norwegian this is our lunch And if, you're lucky. and if it's not sweaty, it's no lunch, it's no mopaka. If you like what you see, subscribe, post us your comment, post us your question. Maybe you are the reason we will make next video. See you, bye bye. And in the meantime, I'm enjoying my sweaty mopaka.